every day. I wake up while my booty and little Sissy are still sleeping. I go outside and the early morning noises comfort me. I look at the moon and I think of our mama. She told us many stories, even when the disease that killed our dad made her cough and made her chest sore as she sweated away all her round softness. Mama still told us stories. Only when the disease stole her breath did the story stop. The best story was about Mama Full Moon. She knew that people carried a stone in their hearts because they were scared to die. I must send a message to my people, she thought. Mama Full Moon asked a rabbit to take the message. Tell them to look at Mama Full Moon. First, she is like the horn of an earland. Then she becomes round and fat like the hunters when the herds are big. Then she melts away until there is only a crane's wishbone left. In the end, she's gone. So it is with men. First a man is young, but he grows strong. Then comes old age, which dries his bones. But when he dies, he shall live again, just as I do. I was 13 when my mama died. My booty was 12 and my little sissy was 10. The gogos brought us food and money and clothes for school. Even now, they help me look after my family. One day, people from the Kick TB team came to our school. Yo, oh, it was wonderful. They brought soccer balls and goals. They told us about the disease that took away our dada and mama. They called it TB. They showed us what was on the balls. A thin little man with a sore chest sweating and coughing, just like my mama did. They said that if we or anyone we knew showed any of these signs, we must go at once to the clinic to be fixed up. They told us that by kicking the ball into the goal, we were kicking away TB. Yo, I kicked and kicked and kicked and kicked that ball till I cried. I can't really remember our Udata because why? I was three when he went. But Mama told us that before he took the job driving trucks into Africa and back again, he played soccer. He was too good and just as fast as Luis Figo, she said. Luis Figo? Yo, that man has magic feet, I said. And a beautiful wife, just like my papa. Mama laughed until she coughed. <laughs> The Kick TB people's visit made me feel very, very happy. I now knew what I was gonna do. Start my own running, living, breathing Kick TB soccer team. Love and care for my booty and little sissy. Making sure every breath they take counts. A good breath, a life breath, a breath that is breathed so deep and so strong that people must know that by going for regular treatments at the clinic, they can breathe like that too. The Kick TB people also told us that in South Africa, we have millions of booties and sissies whose parents are also gone. But even more millions are living with TB inside them. They say we have the biggest number of TB and HIV positive cases in the world. Ish. That's why we need organizations with lots of money to help give out more and more soccer balls so more and more people can kick TB. Latuma! They also told us that it's good always to cover your mouth when you cough, wash your hands a lot, open windows when you sleep, things like that. This all helps you to stay healthy, they said. I have a dream. Yeah, it's true. I dream of a South Africa where no one's breath is stolen away by TB or HIV. Where no little children's parents leave them too soon where all my brothers and sisters breathe sweet, clean air deep into their bodies, where every breath counts. I study very hard at school. My marks, like my science and mathematics, must be too good, because why? I am going to be a doctor. I am going to help people live again. I know that my mama and dada are up there with Mama Full Moon, and they are watching.
they take their full 180 days of medicine. Don't stop even if everything seems fine. It takes every single one of the 180 doses of medicine to cure TB. TB? Take 180 to be number one okay. <laughs> <laughs> 